Patrick Mahomes was named the Super Bowl MVP, and rightfully so. I mean, the guy came out, led his team to a touchdown in overtime to win his third Super Bowl. So I got no beef with that. But man, if there was a runner-up award, it would have to go to Trent McDuffie, Chiefs All-Pro cornerback. Had a fantastic season, but as soon as the playoffs started, he took his game to an even further level, and he was lights out in the Super Bowl. So today, I want to take a look at some of his best work from the Super Bowl. In this first play here, the Chiefs are going to be a man-to-man, -man, and Trent McDuffie is going to be man on Debo Samuel, okay? And the 49ers are running this little exit motion with Debo. He's going to come around here, and he's going to end up going vertical. But what a lot of teams do off this motion, it's what Miami did a lot this year, and what the Niners did a lot this year, is they will use this guy and just for a clear-out route, right? And they'll use this guy in the motion to come and run this deep dig for the dagger concept. So Trent McDuffie... Obviously, in this is aware of that because watch how watch how long he keeps his hips parallel to Debo waiting on the end breaker. Parallel, waiting on it, waiting on it. And he keeps his hips parallel and in position to break in until the very last second. And then after that, he just runs stride for stride with Debo and is able to make a play on the ball. But again, I mean, watch him like cautiously waiting for the end breaker. It's not coming. Okay, we got to go. Stride for stride, hand fighting ever so slightly to not get the flag. Closes in on it and gets the pass break up. Beautiful coverage. All right, next play here. Chiefs, again, are going to be in man-to-man -man coverage. And McDuffie again on Debo. And Debo is just going to run this little short drag route. Just beautiful stuff from McDuffie. Watch him keep his hip square until Debo makes his move known. And he stays right on the top of the hip. This is where you want to be as a DB on a crossing route, okay? Because... This is he's in perfect position right now to bait the quarterback. He if this was a better throw, this might be an interception. You can see right now Brock Purdy's throwing the ball and McDuffie would have been in the perfect position to, you know, bite down and pick that thing off if Purdy gave a little bit better pass. Maybe Purdy noticed it last second and that's why the pass was so bad. But again, I mean, just beautiful coverage. I mean, look at that. Right on his hip pocket, right on the top hip, just waiting to to fly down on that thing and make a play on the ball. Again, just smothering man-to-man -man coverage. This next play here, again, the Chiefs are going to be in man coverage. And again, McDuffie once again going against Debo Samuels. And the 49ers are just trying to run a variation of Dagger, um, one of their favorite concepts. We got this receiver running a post and then Debo running the deep end breaker. And, I mean, this coverage, again, you know when they say that the defensive back runs the route for the receiver you could show them this clip. I mean, this is textbook running the route for the receiver. I mean, check it out. Just on that inside shoulder all the way through. Knows some breaking. Little grab, but that's okay. Physical game, right? Boom. Again, another play that could easily have been an interception. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is not even an inch of separation. Like, you would think that Trent McDuffie was the one on offense on this play. So, again, another impressive rep in man-to-man -man coverage. From Trent McDuffie. And then you can see from this angle, Debo actually had to, you know, play defensive back on this play and knock it out of Trent McDuffie's hands, or else that might have been a pick. Next play here, McDuffie, he's going to once again be going against Debo. And what the Niners are trying to do here is they're basically just running Kittle up the seam, trying to get this clear for Debo to come in on this short end route once again. And I mean, McDuffie not having any of it. Watch him drive on this ball, hip square until Debo breaks inside and he sticks his foot in the ground right there and goes and again no shot just smothering i mean debo might have nightmares about this guy i mean again just hip square until you can't no more foot in the ground explode pass breakup next way here a little bootleg from the 49ers and i mean the change of direction here from mcduffie he's like uh-oh it's a boot he even slips and he is still able to recover and make this play on George Kittle for, I mean, is that even a gain of a yard? Let's see, where was the ball snapped? Ball snapped at the 40, about the 40? Where does he make the tackle? <laughs> well, maybe the 41, so maybe a gain of a yard, maybe not. But, I mean, again, like, he slips right there, and he's still able to recover and go and make the play. I mean, this guy was just lights out. There's no other way to put it. And then this play here, probably his most impactful because of the situation. Third down and five, late in the fourth. If the Niners get this, if they convert this first down, they could probably burn the clock and win the Super Bowl. So 
The Chiefs needed a play, and McDuffie made it happen. Spags calls a nickel blitz for McDuffie, right? And the read or the throw that Purdy needs to make here off this blitz is to Ayuk because, you know, again, McDuffie's blitzing. This area is going to be vacant, easy first down. But what makes this play so impressive is McDuffie doesn't really show it pre-snap, so Purdy honestly has no idea. And if you watch it back, you see McDuffie kind of just walking around, you know, not giving any tells. It just looks like man-to-man coverage with inside leverage. So, you know, Purdy, again, just standing, scanning the defense. And what's funny watching this back is when Purdy looks to his right, you can see McDuffie kind of creep up a little bit. But watch as soon as Purdy looks back to his left, he backs up again. So, again, he's hiding it hiding it, excuse me, perfectly from Brock Purdy, and he times up the blitz. I mean, like you could not time this blitz any better with the snap. I mean, check him out. He's already on the move, and the ball is about to be snapped. Times it perfectly, gets in his face, not a shot. Huge play, huge game. Trent McDuffie, again, played out of his mind throughout this whole thing. If there was an MVP runner-up award, it would go to him. That's the end of this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you're into this type of content. If not, that's cool too. I just appreciate y'all watching. Peace.